What is going on on YouTube? Uh, this is Cowboy Rick uh, making my very first debut video uh, on my Cowboy content. Um, just wanted to give a shout out to some of the people that are inspiring me to make my own uh, YouTube video. Uh, some of those people are going to be like Law Nation, Foots to King, uh, Cowboys Can Fan Talk Show, I believe. If I'm saying it wrong, I apologize. Um, just all, just those are those are a couple of guys that are you know inspiring me to uh, do my very own first video and start my own little podcast on YouTube. Um, anyways, uh, just don't want to get right into it. Um, the draft is coming up, and uh, I believe, you know, Cowboys can go a few different ways with um, with the draft going on. Um, I know the Cowboys have Tony Pollard already. Um, they just franchise tagged him, which I think was a good move. Um, they just signed Ronald Jones, which I think is a very good backup. Um, I know a lot of Cowboy fans... You know, weren't weren't really like weren't really liking it, and um, they were kind of confused on like you know why do we get him? We should just go for the draft. But Cowboys fans, you got to realize, you know, sometimes Cowboys draft just for depth, which I think um, you couldn't really ask for a better depth guy than Ronald Jones. I mean, Malik Davis is there, yeah, but I mean, I don't know if I would really put all my trust in Malik Davis. I mean, he had a few good you know bursts and like good little viewings. But you've seen what Ronald Jones has, and he's I think would be a very good backup. Um, as far as like the draft goes, um, I don't believe I don't believe Cowboys go running back in the first round only because they want to put all their trust and all their money's worth and all that into Tony Pollard. And um, so I don't believe they go first round. And some of that has to do with I think that the first round is so deep with uh, running backs right now. You don't necessarily have to go running back. Um, now, if the draft class was, you know, wasn't that deep with the running backs, then yeah, I would probably go, you know, Gibbs or, uh, you know, Bijan Robinson and so on and so forth. But if it's that deep, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really go for it. running back first round. I would try to do, um, I'd probably go with somebody like on the offensive line, another tackle because you can always put um, Tyler Smith at guard. Um, and then you can always get somebody like Dewan Jones uh, or somebody else at tackle. Um, I think that's a good problem to have. I mean, you can never have too many good linemen because you can always switch around, move people around, and have a solid line. If you give a, if you give Dak a solid line, I feel like Dak will do his thing because he's he can sit back, he can uh, be comfortable, he can do his reads, he can th dump it off to either Tony Pollard, um, and so on and so forth. Um, I do believe that Cowboys could also go uh, wide receiver. And before before, before y'all say, oh, well, we have Michael Gallup and we have, you know, um, CeeDee Lamb and Brandon Cooks, and that's great and all, but you also got to put in injuries, you know. Is Michael Gallup playing lights out? Uh, is he the same Michael Gallup before he got hurt? No, he's not. So you can never have too many good receivers because you're factoring injuries. I mean – why not have four or five good receivers and just two solid ones and then have nobody behind you? You know, we have to, you know, replace Noah Brown being gone. I mean, you know, we never did that, really. I mean, yeah, Brandon Cooks, I mean, he, he's going to be your number two. C. Lamb's going to be your number one. But what if Michael Gallup's is not playing to where he was? What if he's never the same person again? You know, I would rather have another good receiver and just swap him out, rotate him, and then go on forth, so on and so forth. Um, or Cowboys can go defense. I mean, I like Mozzie at 26 too. I mean, we have Hankins there. He's a good run stopper. Uh, he can get pressure up the middle. He can do his thing. He's a big boy. Um, then you have Osa, but after that, you don't really have anybody. I mean, Neville Gallimore is there, but he's not, you know, he's not it. He had one good year and that was it. So I would go either Mozzie, you can go Mozzie, uh, you can go all, anywhere on the offensive line or wide receiver. And the only reason why, or edge, you can also go edge too, because like you said, you got to factor in injuries. You got Dorrance Armstrong on the other side of, Mark, of DeMarcus Lawrence. You got to factor in DeMarcus Lawrence getting hurt, um, Armstrong being hurt, or you got to factor in Armstrong being not the same person he was. Uh, I remember Law Nation putting up a post, and I think uh, Chat Sports by Tom Downey was uh, putting up a thing where he showed the first 11 of his games versus the last eight of his games. 
and it was just like like what he said it was it was a complete drop off and you know for a cowboy starting defensive end you can't have that and another reason why I wouldn't I wouldn't mind a defensive end in the first round too is because I would like to see Micah re- course rush because y'all we all see what he can do rushing right you know he's a very good pass rusher you got to double him up and so on and so forth I would like to see him play a little bit more linebacker as well, you know, because that's what he's really came for. If that was the case, we might as well just put him at defensive end and just have only LVE back there. You know what I mean? And that's just in my opinion. Um, I would like to see him do a little bit more both to help out LVE. Um, You know, I know you got Damone Clark out there. Um, He's still developing, so on and so forth. Um, I would want to see him sit back a little bit more, rush on certain rushing plays, if not play linebackers and linebacker situations. Um, so I can see like Will McDonald being put on there. Um, I can see, you know, Luke Van Ness. I mean, the only reason why I'm saying him is because I've been doing a little bit of mocks and he's been sliding. Um, I can also see Cowboys picking him up. You know, uh, you can never have too many good players in a certain position. You can never have too many good defensive ends. It's, it's, it's a good problem to have in my opinion. Um, but I just, I mean, don't get me wrong. If Cowboys do draft Gibbs or, um, Robinson, will I hate it? No. Uh, I would just think, you know, that's good. It's going to be a good compliment to Tony Pollard. But, I mean, I would think there is more positions that you could draft at that point that is not going to be as good down the stretch. Like, for example, you can you can find a good running back on, on day three or day two, fifth round, fourth round, and still do their thing with Pollard. You don't necessarily have to go first round because then are the guards going to be as good as, as, as the – as the draft goes on on day two and three, probably not. Are you going to have a plug-and-play guard on day two or three? Maybe, but do you really want to roll that dice? I I wouldn't. I'd rather, I'd rather you know, I, Cowboys have been doing their thing, um, and they've been drafting very well. I would love to see the Cowboys go from, from, from guard to tackle, defensive tackle, or edge, or linebacker. If cornerback, cool. I mean, Deron Bland is doing his thing, too. But I mean, will I will I be mad if they got Forbes? No, I feel like it would create good competition. Um, you know, iron sharpers iron, like what my boy Law Nation says. Um, so I mean, the more competition, it makes the players want to do you know play lights out because if they don't, it's up it's up to the next guy, and the next guy's gonna ball out too. So um, the, you know, we'll see uh, as the draft goes on. We'll see in between now and draft day if the Cowboys end up drafting somebody else. I mean, uh signing somebody else in free agent agency. I don't see any other big names out there that Cowboys are going to go for. Um, if they do, it may go for like a guard or like a tackle. But I mean, I think they're, I think personally they're pretty much going to be done with the, uh, with free agent signings. And I think it's all about the draft from now on. So uh, I'm going to be making more videos coming out as coming towards the draft, you know, talking about the draft and all the players and all that stuff, so on and so forth. This is just my first video coming out. Um, like I said, I want to give a shout-out to Law Nation, Foots to King, and all those other guys out there that I've been seeing making videos. It really inspired me to uh, make my own video. So if y'all can, can you like, subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, if you can comment their names on the bottom so they can, they can see my video, um, I'd appreciate it. Once again, my name is Cowboy Rick. This is my YouTube channel that I'm coming out with. It's my little talk show slash podcast, however you want to call it. And I'm going to just be talking about Cowboys content um 24 7 here i'm gonna try to upload two three maybe even three two to three times a week um every week and go on from here guys uh once again i appreciate it cowboy rick out